Knowledge is a Polyglot By Thorsten J. Papert Tao Trademarks, Tao Idols, Tao Brands Taoism may be less visible than Buddhism in Europe mainly because of the countless Buddha images. One can purchase a clay Buddha from any garden store for 10 euros worth a piece, or a ceramic one for your in-house gallery. IKEA, the world's largest furniture provider, once advertised a Buddha toilet seat. The imagery of a bold monk with large earlobes, sitting in meditation on a giant lotus, let alone other prominent variations such as the Fat Maitreya Buddha, are very popular with kitsch collectors, and thus heavily commercialized. Some religious leaders take notice. They never change their Buddhist attire. It's a brand. It's a signature. Taoist monks and practitioners, on the other hand, do not shave their heads, which, in the world of trademark and instant recognizability, is a considerable disadvantage. Besides, how does Master Lao Tse look like? What distinguishes him from Confucius, Mencius, Zhuangzi, Mozi, or any other Mandarin for that matter? It cannot be the beard, can it? Bertolt Brecht, the famed German post-war dramaturge and playwright, undoubtedly recognized Master Lao Tse's image problem, and aided his audiences by putting the thinker on the back of an ox riding into exile. It's a symbol for virility, strength and wisdom. Everyone remembers an ox, right? Moreover, there are very few Taoist role models. Most Europeans have heard about the Shaolin monks in their mountain monastery in Henan province of China, largely because of their looks and their kung fu style. They've seen it on TV or in action movies. Once seen, they are unforgettable. In comparison, the numerous Taoist symbols in schools in Hubei province of China are largely unbeknownst to even the most educated Europeans outside the field. Layman Taoists and martial arts enthusiasts, of course, will strongly disagree. To them, the Taoist concepts of Qi and Tai Chi Chuan are well established. They may be looking for better definitions, but not for lazy translations. This display of respect for China's sociocultural originality goes a long way. Other Taoist key terminologies, which sometimes overlap with Confucian and Buddhist ones, are Tao Jia, Taoism, Da, Virtues, Kai Guang, Fu Qi, Expiration and Inspiration, Hun, Spirit, and the highly significant archetypes of Wisdom, the Tao Jun, High-Ranking Taoist Gods, and the Shinren, Immortals. It's those categories and names that brand the Taoist tradition. And if all those terms were omitted or actively suppressed, no matter their former pomp and glory, the culture they transported would derail, crash, and sink into the waters of collective amnesia you must cherish and protect your cultural trademarks, idols and brands.